Hi. Here's problem E. So hopefully um, when you looked at this problem, you thought, like I did, hey, look, there's an equation for Y, an equation for one of the uh, particular solutions to the differential equation. I can solve this one by substitution. And you can. Uh, you could also separate your variables and integrate everything and plug stuff in and solve for C and then go back and do some substitution. But that would be a lot more work. So dy dx is, of course, the derivative of y, which is the derivative of g of x here. Don't forget to use the chain rule. Um, and then on this side, I'm just going to leave it like it is because I have values for x and y I can plug in and turn those into constants. Now I'm going to take those values for x and y and plug them in. Um, so x is 1 half, so that gives us pi over 2 there, and there, and there. Uh, what sine of pi over 2? 1, that's right. What's cosine of pi over 2? 0. So on this side, I'm going to get negative b times 1, a plus nothing. And on this side, 3 times 1 and 2 times 3 is 6, like that. Hey, cool. Uh, only problem. We've still got two variables. So there are a couple of ways you could deal with this. I could solve this for b um, and plug it back into this other equation. Or I could solve it for a and plug that back in to this other equation and solve that way. Uh, anytime you've got two variables, you have to combine two equations to, to solve that problem. It's the same thing we're doing when we plug stuff in from this equation into that equation. It's called the substitution method. You learn it in math one. Um, when you've got there, it's usually two lines. And you solve for x, plug in y, whatever. Um, same thing applies here. If you've got two variables, you've got to combine two equations in some way. But I'm here to tell you there's an easier way. So instead, uh, what I ended up doing, instead of going back and doing that extra substitution, look at this equation right here. So I noticed as I was doing this that the cosine part, b times cosine, this all gives me 0, because cosine of pi over 2 is 0. So instead, um, I came to this equation and just directly plugged in my x and y values. And when I did, I was able to find a about 10 seconds later. So. Um, here again, you're using some substitution. Be creative and try something. If it's not the right thing, that's okay. I try stuff lots of time and it's not lots of times and it's not the right thing. So it's cool for you to do too.